Religion is here to unite us. It's not here to divide us. And if it's dividing us, it's not God's religion. It's something else. And, and so it's a great blessing to be in a place just where you feel comfortable. And you don't have to worry about somebody telling you you're not doing this right. You know, and, and if somebody did correct you, it would be out of love and not out of this arrogant, pious, self-righteous attitude of superiority. And so this type of religion, we have to fight it, really, because it's killing the soul of the Muslims. And it's all over the place now. You know, these memes, to use uh, Dawkins, I don't really like to use Dawkins' terms, but you know, he came up with the idea of memes that are like viruses, intellectual viruses. Uh, and, and we've got these intellectual viruses that are making our community sick. And we really need to, you know, wash our hands, you know, in order not to get, right? You wash your hands. We have to clean our, you know, really purify ourselves. We didn't reveal this Quran for you to be miserable. I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that to his prophet. We did not re re reveal this Quran for you to be miserable. The, the mukhalifa, the understanding, the reverse understanding is anzalnahu li tas'ad. We, we revealed this book to make you happy. So if Islam is not making you happy, something's wrong with your Islam. And if you're making other people unhappy, you know, woe unto you for driving people out of Islam. You know, and there are people that are driving people away from Islam. And this is, we're in the end game, people. I mean, if you don't see that, I don't know what planet you're living on. We're coming down to end game. Maybe it's 100 years from now. Maybe it's 200. I don't know. Those things are in the knowledge of God. But our Prophet said, I was sent and, and the end of time are like these two. And he put his wusta and his sababa together, just like that. ana wasa'atain. I was sent and the hour is like this. That was 1400 years ago. And in terms of how long humans have been here, it's not a long time, 1400 years. It's, a, it's a, just a flash. So this is a time for people to have a lot of rahab, you know, just expansiveness in their hearts for people. Baza, Baza, I wish I could quote it in, in Persian, but you know, we're in the city of Mawlana, Jalaluddin, and he, he has a beautiful qasida which is in the entrance to his maqam. Come, come again. Come. You know, whatever you've done, This isn't a caravan of despair. You know, sinner, if you've broken your vow a thousand times, just come back. <laughs> the door's open. And anybody that closes it is a shaitan. You know, and there's people closing that door on people that need to hear that message. You know, because this world can defile you but no matter how defiled you are Allah's door is open no matter what's happened to you Allah's door is open I mean we have testimony in the hadith to a mass murderer who was given Tawbah he killed a hundred people and he was given Tawbah Hudayf al-Yamani, he said, the end of time won't come until the Muslims are like a big rock in a river. They don't drink from it and they don't let other people drink from it. And he said, and the one seeing it is not like the one telling it. So don't be like that rock that doesn't let the river flow and let people drink from it. This people need, they're dying of thirst out there. They're dying of spiritual thirst. This door is open and people, we need to open it up and let people come in with all their faults and all their flaws and all their dysfunctionalities and all their problems. Just open the door and let people come in.